them that are joining us the question is when you become a christian do you automatically receive or be filled with the holy spirit and according to my understanding in my biblical uh, studies my answer is no so i want to prove that and uh, our first reference is in the book of act, act of apostle chapter 19 verse 1 to 6 while apollos was in corinth paul traveled through the interior region until he reached ephesus on the coast where he found several believers who are believers christians people who have already proclaimed jesus christ as their lord and their savior they have, they have already believed that jesus that was crucified on that cross indeed is the christ that is what qualifies them as believers after the ascension of jesus christ amen believers before ascension they had to just believe jesus was christ but believe after jesus ascension they had to believe that jesus died and he conquered grave hell and death and his reason is coming back so the 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 disciple in the ephesus were well qualified christian like you and me praise the lord and because the bible speak about paul meeting the several believers assumptionally let us assume because there are several they were having leaders hallelujah probably they were having leaders and at the same time probably the midst of these believers in Ephesus there were some people who were preaching about Jesus but the question is the fact that they are christian the fact that they are born again were they filled with the holy spirit because people say some people say yeah it ought to be so but is the bible proving that yeah it ought to be so the bible continue by paul verses 2 paul is asking the believers did you receive the holy spirit when you believed now paul is asking them you you disciple or believers in ephesus did you receive the holy spirit when you believe first of all Paul is bringing a disconnection that there is believing and there is being in, in field or receiving the holy spirit is disconnecting the two so that you don't pick one and assume the other was part of the one praise the lord so Paul is asking them i know you believed i have no question that you you are not a believer i am i have assurance that indeed you are a believer but did you receive the holy spirit when you believed <laughs> praise the lord what was their answer if you have your bible verses 3 hallelujah they answered no they replied we have not even had we have not even had that is too bad we have not even had that there is a holy spirit they are confirmed christian but they have never heard about the holy spirit so preachers who go about telling people that you don't need to be prayed over to receive the holy spirit the moment you are born again you receive the holy spirit this text prove you a liar the reason why i'm strong with that because i've met many christian who are having what may they are, they are under a cover of deception that they have the holy spirit but they don't have evidently they don't have holy spirit but because they they were taught that the moment you become a christian you receive the holy spirit they have that covering of that deception the fact this matter is in the books of the theologian to debate about does not make it right there are a lot of things that the theologian are debating about will we wait the theologian to one day finish their debate for us to come to the confirmation because everybody have tried to ask this question they said that their theologian are still arguing about this one you know some people are believing this one some people are believing in that will we wait that theologian after you have finished your debate now please tell us the answers the answer is here that they were believers they were born again some of them were leaders probably because there was continuous of continuation of winning of soul cool but some people were evangelizing but they were not having the holy spirit allah they by, they say that even we have not had who all spirit is 
the Bible continue when you continue to read that now Paul prayed for them he laid hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit praise the Lord again another proof of the same question when you are born again do you automatically be filled or receive the Holy Spirit even in a small measure the Bible read in the book of Acts of Apostle chapter 8 Acts of Apostle please I see Mary, thank you. You are active. You can be writing for me the scriptures on the comment section. Act of Apostle chapter 8, verses 14 and 217. I won't read all of it, but only read the section that will be relevant for us. Amen. The Bible says in Acts of Apostle chapter 8, verses 14, verses 17. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that the people of Samaria had accepted God's message. They have accepted God's message. Which people? The people of Samaria. Oh, I love the people of Samaria. They have accepted God's message. To me, they have believed God's message. And what was the main message at this point? That Jesus is the Christ. That was the theme of God's message and the message of the kingdom. That he died and he rose again. So, the Bible says apostles heard that the people of Samaria they are now believers. They have already accepted God's message. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now what did the apostle did? This is what the apostle did. Hallelujah. They prayed no, they sent Peter and John there. Where? In Samaria. Apostles sent other apostles by names, which are Peter and John. Where? In Samaria. Why? Because the people of Samaria have accepted God's message. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, as soon as they arrived, which, which people are these? Peter and John arriving where in samaria they prayed for these new believers who are these people believers are they pagans no are they believers yes are they christian yes are they going to church if the church was there at that time yes praise the lord do they are they are they love of jesus yes they love jesus praise hallelujah i love you jesus praise the lord so they were believers and they loved Jesus. They had accepted the message of the cross. They are new believers. The Bible says, and they prayed for the, these new believers to receive, to receive the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, verse 16 clearly, the Holy Spirit had not yet come upon any of them. They are believers, they are Christian, but the Holy Spirit had not yet come upon any of them. Praise the Lord. So, so some preachers who kind of um, force the doctrine of us to believe that the fact you are Christian, you go to church, you have the Holy Spirit. Is it wrong if I call them liars? They are trying to defend some humanity. They are trying to defend the guiltiness of feeling that you don't have the Holy Spirit. You know? So they are trying to find reasons. And reason number one they find is that when Jesus was with the disciples, he breathed upon them. He said, receive the Holy Spirit. Yes, he said, receive the Holy Spirit. Did they receive? There's different, there's a big gap Jesus, me stretching my hand to give you my phone, and you receiving my phone. Did they receive the Holy Spirit? No, it was impossible. Why? Because the rule of receiving the Holy Spirit was until Jesus ascended. The Holy Spirit could have not come upon any of the disciples because Jesus had not yet ascended. It was a better trade. Jesus had to go. Then Holy Spirit comes. So the genuine part that Holy Spirit came upon 
the disciples or the apostles was on the day of the Pentecost, of the day of Pentecost. Because Jesus had already ascended. That 